once we've established scale, once we've established direction, once we've put our color on the object, the last process for this assignment, we're going to need a thing called ambient occlusion. So I always kind of tend to follow the same suit over and over again, but I want you to get really used to me doing it. So right here, what I'm going to do is go over here, hit edit mode, A, and make a new image. The new image is going to be 2048 by 2048. No alpha. And I'm going to call this OCC. How about building OCC. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the little camera, go to bake, drag this down to occlusion. I'm going to add the margin set to one. And the reason for this, I don't want it to bleed off into the next shell. And that should be it. In fact, I'm going to do that even at zero because these are really close together. So what that margin does, it, it burns it over into the next shell a little bit. So bake. And what did that do? Well, it self shadowed it. Basically, it went in and looked for all the areas that are touching and put a shadow in that area. There's a couple ways to use this map that we're going to look at throughout the process, but I'm going to show you a way to do this that is non-destructible. And then probably in the next video, next video or next unit, we'll look at um, post-processing it. And post-processing is using another application to stitch it together. So here is my brick OCC. And I'm going to save that as a target file. Okay, the non-destructive form is located here. Wait, let's see. Let me stretch this out a little further and this out a little further. Let's go into textures. And we're going to make a new texture in here. Texture is going to be image or movie. Open. Brick OCC. Again, that is correlating to the UVs. And you can see what it looks like right now. It's all black, right? What I'm going to do is move this texture up. And you can see, if I move it up too far, this will go into place. What I want to do is make it so I can see it. That way, when I go down, I'm going to choose color, but I'm going to choose multiply. And then I'm going to just turn that multiply down a little bit via the color. So that's what it does. It multiplies it so it can put some shadow in that area. So that's the non-destructible way to do it. Now there is another way to do it. So we'll look at the post-processing in a different unit. And with post-processing, we can control on how dark it really is. So right here, this one's kind of a little bit dark. All right. But for right now, let's go on to the next video.